So that's what we, we, we want for today. We want the wisdom to live for today. How can I become wealthy and wise? much for joining me this morning here at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Again, my name is Catherine and we are here to give God praise, honor, and glory. Well, for this month of September, we have been going over the book of Proverbs and we started with Proverbs chapter 1 and now we are on the 10th day of September. Could you believe it? And we are going to read Proverbs chapter 10 in the book of Proverbs which is in the Bible and Proverbs is a wisdom book it's a book that gives us a lot of understanding of how to live for today our daily lifestyle can be uh, shaped by the words of Proverbs the wise words of King Solomon because he wrote them specifically to enlighten and inform the youth but anyone else who wants to become wise he says the wise will become wiser by studying the words of proverbs well we've gone through so far proverbs chapter 1 through 9 and in the in those chapters our um, information about lady wisdom about the pillars of wisdom, what we need to do and how we need to live. Now he gives us the how-to from chapters um, 10, which we're gonna to read today, Proverbs chapter 10 to through 31. He gives us wise sayings. And these Proverbs are powerful. Each and every verse has a great measure of wisdom in it a nugget of truth and if you're willing to dig in you will learn more and in proverbs chapter 10 and on it's the if you do this then cause and effect if you if you read god's word then you'll become wiser if you um love the lord your god then you will um gain safety and you will live well so it's the if then if then and the cause and effect from your doing what it is that God would have you to do will bring about these changes in your life now this the changes are cumulative because he talks about a long life so as you start to get an ear for wisdom and understanding for wisdom and you gain this uh, discernment from wisdom, wisdom and experience from wisdom, your life will improve over time. You'll get smarter and smarter. You'll get wiser and wiser as you continue to allow wisdom to teach you her ways. Yes, Lady Wisdom, she will teach you. And then in the end, when we get to Proverbs 31, we see how the bride of Christ, the lovers of God, will prosper in the way. How they um, are full and rich from the beginning of their commitment to God, to Jesus Christ, the, the bridegroom, all the way down to the end of your life. Um, you can see your commitment to God will bring you honor and glory that you will be called um, his bride, that you will receive the recognition and a good reputation that will last into eternity. 
So that is our goal, to become wiser, to become smarter, to become better, to become more like Jesus. And we see that Jesus is in Proverbs. He is the one who is the one who sets things up because he is the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And Jesus has been in the beginning, from the very beginning of creation. He is the creator of this world. That's why he loves us so much because he wants us to prosper. He wants to see his work flourish. And so he is willing to invest in us. That's why he gave his life for us so that we can have a personal relationship with him and we can bask in his glory and we can be one with him and the Father and the Holy Spirit. We are his delight. We are his beloved and he wants us to get to know him better. And that is part of our life. The purpose of our life is to know God better and to give Jesus the pleasure of our uh, time, the pleasure of our attention, to give him all of our love, to bless his holy name. And uh, when we do that, he brings out the best in us, the things that make you special. The reason why he made you and put you on the planet. The reason for Father God saying, yes, let Catherine come on the planet. Mm -hmm. There were so many eggs, so many sperm, everything, all kinds of situations in the development of you and you coming out and being birthed. And even you, you're being alive today. There is meaning and purpose in your life. And it's up to us to find out what is that divine design, that divine purpose that God has for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Yeah, that makes me happy. There's a reason for me being here on the planet. And I want to fulfill my purpose to the fullest. And I realize that it is a process, that it is day by day, every day, I gain more wisdom. Therefore, I have wisdom for today. And in the process of gaining wisdom for today, I am becoming wealthy on all fronts. Wealthy in my mind, wealthy in my body, wealthy in my finances, wealthy, wealthy in my relationships, wealthy in my family, wealthy in all areas. When we think of wealth here in the United States, we tend to think of wealth in terms of money and the dollar. But when we talk about wealth in the Bible, we're talking about not just financial wealth, but wealth in all areas of our lives. Uh, knowledge wealth, yes. Um, intellectual wealth, creative wealth, you know, relationship wealth, intimacy wealth, physical body, our bodies being thriving and healthy, being whole wealth. Yeah. So that's what we, we, we want for today. We want the wisdom to live for today. How can I become wealthy and wise? And for those of you who've been with me here at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy, we have a saying, I'm a wise, healthy, wealthy woman. A wise, healthy, wealthy woman. A wise, healthy, wealthy woman living in integrity and prudence. You know, and I came up with a little jingle. I'm a wise, healthy, wealthy woman. A wise, healthy, wealthy woman. A wise, healthy, wealthy woman. And I'm walking in integrity and prudence. Wise, healthy, wealthy woman. Wise, healthy, wealthy woman. Wise, healthy, wealthy woman, and I'm walking in integrity and prudence. Yes, and with that, we want to establish here. Our mission is to establish God's word, God's purposes, businesses, and enterprises for now and into the future for the generations to come. So the blessing follows us as we become wiser. We're able to leave an inheritance for our children and our grandchildren. We're able to establish blessings, um, but not just an inheritance in, for, in, in the form of financial wealth, because we're now able to give them an inheritance, a goodly, godly, 
inheritance of wisdom, which will then, the payoff will be the financial blessings, the health, the, the, all of the other pieces and parts to a good life, a satisfying life. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. That made me happy. Can I get a hallelujah? Yes. Let's just take the time to praise him and say, thank you, Lord, for the wisdom for today that will bless me and those around me. Bless my family. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the wisdom that you have given to us that we can be a blessing, not just to ourselves, but to um, our community and to the world around. Yeah, that I can be a blessing to you, my wise, healthy, wealthy uh, people of God, Wisdom Connection family, and to all those that listen. Hallelujah. Lord, I just praise your name today. Glory, glory are you, Lord God Almighty. Blessed is the Lamb. Blessed is the Lamb. You are holy, holy. Are you, Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you this morning. We give you honor, glory, and praise for you are worthy. You're worthy to praise, Lord. I thank you because you love us so much that you gave your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, our Savior, our Bridegroom, the lover of our soul, who has given us wisdom for today, that we may be a blessing, not just to ourselves, but a blessing to others, that we can do what Jesus said for us to do, to love the Lord our God with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and strength, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves, to be able to give, give, and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall man give unto your bosom. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the blessings of today. Thank you for the payoff for serving God. Hallelujah, that there is a payoff. Hallelujah, that you are into this financial thing. Yes, you are into this wealth growth, and we want to grow in wealth in all facets of our life and our being. We want to be wealthy, Lord Jesus, healthy, wise, hallelujah, everything. We want all the benefits, all of the lessons, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we don't want it just for ourselves, but we want also, Lord, to be a blessing. Yes, that we may bless the people around us, starting with our family, God moving into our neighbors, our community, our uh, nation, and also the world. Help us to be a blessing. Even as that song says, make me a blessing. Hallelujah. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing. Hallelujah. To someone today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the desire of my heart that the Lord will make me a blessing. And hopefully, as you listen, that you will be blessed. Hallelujah. As the Lord makes me a blessing. To you today. Daily decrees for a wealthy mindset. Decrees. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Job twenty two twenty eight. that I have a wealth mindset, my Father God. I decree that I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Multiply and I am experiencing abundance in every area of 
my life. I decree that wealth and riches are in my house. I decree that I am open to receive the blessings of God and my full inheritance in I decree that wealth comes to me from the north, south, east, and west corners of the earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Wisdom for today. And um, all of this is based in, on Proverbs chapter 10. And I was looking specifically in the Passion Translation of this. And it says, um, and I, I think that this is the main verse. This is Proverbs 10, 31. It said, the teachings of the righteous are loaded with wisdom and words that bring delight. And um, I'm paraphrasing it and pulling out pieces of that, uh, Proverbs 10, 31. But to me, that is the essence of this uh, proverb, this uh, chapter in Proverbs. The teachings of the righteous are loaded with wisdom. Theme in this Proverbs, in this chapter in Proverbs. And to me, the proverb or this chapter in Proverbs is saying how to gain wealth. And so I'm gonna just list many of the um, if then. If you are like this, then this is the payoff the cause and the effect. So, um, how to gain wealth? One, through honesty. Through honesty. If you're an honest person, you more than likely will gain wealth. Um, the payoff is lasting happiness. That's the wealth that you will gain. Lasting happiness when you're honest. Um, and we can see that, that those who are not honest, they are not happy. Many of them cannot sleep because the lies and the deception that they have created causes them to lie even more and they are not able to enjoy their life because they're running away or trying to keep up with the lie. But through honesty, the payoff is lasting happiness. Then the other thing is, uh, the next one is being a lover of Jesus. Being a lover of Jesus. Um, the payoff for being a lover of Jesus is that you are satisfied. He gives you what your soul craves. Isn't that beautiful? If you are a lover of Jesus, you are satisfied. Hallelujah. You are satisfied and he gives you what your soul craves. You know, each and every one of us, we have within us a desire uh, to be uh, prosperous. We have desires and um, that we have cravings and um, those are things that we are drawn to. But when we are lovers of Jesus Christ and he becomes the center of our lives, when he becomes our true craving, when we crave Jesus, that we are then satisfied and he gives our souls what we want. Our soul is made up of our, our mind, our will, and our emotions. So our love for Jesus fills us with love, our emotions. Our love for Jesus fills us up with determination and a will to do the right thing. Our love for Jesus fills our mind with words that are sweet, that are wise. Yeah. So being a love of Jesus, your payoff is a satisfied life that your soul will be fulfilled, mm -hmm. that the cravings that you have will be fulfilled. Another, another one is to be a hard worker. So how do you gain wealth? By being a hard worker. The payoff is becoming wealthy. So uh, if you're lazy and you're not willing to do any work and just sit back and let others do things for you and not utilize the creativity and the talents that God has given you, then you will not gain wealth. Knowing the season Knowing the season that you are in and its importance is, is important. How to gain wealth? 
knowing the season that you are in and its importance. The payoff is that you will be wise. Be a lover of God and the payoff is you will be enriched beyond belief. When you are a lover of God, you will be enriched beyond belief. Another one is have a reputation of doing good and the payoff is that people will remember and have good memories of you. Easily accept instruction and the payoff will be you will be able to listen and learn and have a wise heart. Now this is a big one. This is a big one. Easily accept instruction. Yeah. When wise people speak into your life, be willing to listen to them and you will be able to have a wise heart you'll be able your heart will become wiser and that is where the issues of love are in in your heart and the more wisdom that you obtain obtain by listening to wise people the wiser you'll become so do not do all of the talking learn to listen and the payoff will be you will learn and avoid stumbling ahead so listening to wise people and not talking as much but really giving them your full attention not having out your um you know your your laptop or your iphone or whatever it is while someone is giving instruction because you're not going to be really taking it in but rather have a notebook have um a pen and take copious notes walk in integrity and the payoff is that you will experience a fearless confidence in your life. When you are walking in integrity, that means that you're doing right, that you're walking in honesty, that you're following the ways of the Lord, that you're living an honest and upright life. Then you can go through life with confidence because you know that you're not doing anything that is illegal, but you're doing the right thing and that you're following God's way of being and doing and he will bless you. Listen and speak after. Listening is huge in this chapter, Proverbs 10. Listening, because the payoff is, is that you will uh, prove that you're wise because you're able to bite your tongue and be strong. Sometimes people say things that they regret later. You wouldn't have any regrets because you're able to hold your peace. So the biggest piece here is teaching others wisdom's words. This is a, that's another part also in this chapter that was really emphasized. And I started off with that, that teaching of the godly ones are like pure silver. So the payoff of teaching of godly ones, it's like pure silver. You're going to gain the wisdom and pure silver is great. It's a, a precious metal. Uh, and the payoff, it brings words of redemption to others. The wise words that I'm giving to you, there's a payoff for it. The payoff is that it helps others uh, to be redeemed from the things that would have otherwise cause them harm. That there is a, a great payoff for them and also for ourselves. Um, so um, feeding many with teachings, the payoff is that others are fed and gaining understanding. And for all of us, for the person who is teaching and for those that are learners, because we're always learners, I'm always learning, you are enriched. And that's the payoff. When you are willing to learn and be a learner and also to be a teacher and a giver of wisdom, you are enriched. And that comes from the blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're gaining understanding in your heart. Prayer for wealth. Remove the curse of poverty for a wealth mindset. A prayer to change my belief system and mindset concerning wealth. Dear Heavenly Father and Righteous Judge, I ask for the courts of heaven to be opened. May I be granted entrance through the blood of Jesus, my Lord. Father, 
Father God, I put you in remembrance of what is written in the books of heaven about our destiny. Let us contend together as I state my case that I may be acquitted. Isaiah 43, 26. First, please forgive me for sins of commission, sins of omission, transgressions, iniquity, sinful thinking, and actions. Second, I ask that that which has been written in my books in heaven be revealed and for destiny to be fulfilled in my life and my family. Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge and confess that the enemy holds the truth against me and my ancestors that we do not honor you in a righteous way. That we may have given tithes and offerings to other gods except you to forgive me and to place the blood of Jesus and the cross between us. Forgive me for the sins and transgressions and iniquities of our forefathers. so that the enemy from this moment on can no longer use or hold this against me. Lord, my plea is the blood of Jesus and the cross. Heavenly Father, I rest while Jesus reminds the enemy that he, Jesus, has total victory. Hallelujah. Thank you that I have the mind of Christ. I come into full agreement that I receive the blessings now. Thank you for bringing me into a place of abundance according to Psalm 66, 12. My wealthy place. Amen. 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 Some of the benefits and the payoff is that you get rest, you get contentment, discernment, uh, longevity, a secure anchor, contented living, long and happy life, safe resting place, and you inherit the covenant of blessings. Now isn't that wonderful, the benefits of having um, a rich life? Um, in following wisdom's words, the enrichment comes from the blessing of the heart of God. Hallelujah. And then you are able to gain these things. Let me say them again, what you can gain from following wisdom's words by using and utilizing the wisdom of the day for today. You will get rest, you'll get contentment, discernment, longevity, your longings fulfilled, secure anchor, contented living, long happy life, safe resting place, and you will inherit the covenant of blessings. Now isn't that fantastic? I think that that is wonderful that when we follow the ways of wisdom or that all these benefits are ours and that we have wisdom for today and for the rest of our life. Yeah, it affects us throughout our life. May you be prosperous. May you gain in wealth and wisdom this day in Jesus' name. Amen.
welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. Welcome to my urban cottage garden, which I feel has a strong English style, English cottage style, and naturalistic flow. The soft lavender pink colors and the deep purple hues are just filling this beautiful garden. Hello! Hello there and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It's so good to be here with you today and I hope that all is well with you. Well, I am going to just have us enjoy the garden today. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Yes, come on and be a part of Catherine's Garden and Home. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed of when more videos are coming up. <laughs> section that I have designed which comprises of what I call my jewel garden and then also specifically the ruby garden where the rich colors of ruby like in this uh, mums um, are there and planted so let's take a look at that also I have some hydrangeas in the front that are doing very well and I love the changes of the colors they're rich and they are purpley and drool-like, almost amethyst in nature. Yeah, amethyst with the purples, the purple perella, and the purples, and the rich um, lavenders. Um, you, can, you can see it all there in the front gardens, the beauty of the flowers that are just jewel-like in um, in appearance yeah and I like jewels I love mother of pearl and I love amethyst and I love rubies and sapphires all of that and you can see the colors in the flowers so let's take a look at that too
look at the front part of my um, garden, Catherine's garden, the front gardens. And that is the garden uh, that I call my urban cottage garden with the English style. I've been calling it my urban English cottage garden because it has that flair of the mixtures of all of the different plants, the shrubs, the uh, vegetables, the flowers, the annuals, and um, now we have the pumpkins and squashes just moving through the bed now in the fall. So let's take a look at that and enjoy the front gardens. I love this combination of the sedum here with the purple corella. The two colors just blend in so well together. This whole border has taken on a new coloring, a new hue with the purples, pinks, white. And I'm so pleased with these cosmos that have just uh, started to bloom. And I've been going through and flipping and deadheading. And I just can't seem to keep up with all of this work because they're just blooming and blooming and along with my zinnias which I have been cutting and bringing into the home make wonderful bouquets. I have been using this front border as a cut flower bed and I have been very particular in cutting out all of the yellow, orange, and rust-colored zinnias, leaving behind the pinks, the soft pinks, and the fuchsia, and the more purple-colored zinnias in the garden. Right now, I've been harvesting these beautiful, beautiful zinnias. I've been so impressed with them. And here in this front border, where they get plenty of sunlight, they have been growing tall and strong and sturdy. butternut squash plant is just moving rapidly down the border which is looking really beautiful with that zebra grass which adds such great contrast to the bold leaves of the butternut squash. In the front of the house, there's a border there, and I've been growing my peppers, but also my caladiums and kale, and they have been growing so strong, as, long, as well as zucchini and peppers. My peppers are doing so good, and also nasturtium flowers. So let's take a look at that. I have had success with growing kale for the last two years, but this year it is just amazing how I found the spot that they love and they have just been producing. I haven't seen a lot of bug damage or anything like that, so I've been able to uh, harvest them without much concern. <laughs>
and um, also in our zinnias. I love the zinnias and I love the mums and also I have the hydrangeas and specifically I have a new hydrangea, a little quick fire and right now it's starting to bloom which is making me so happy uh, and the blooms are now changing color and becoming more and more jewel-like yes and so I am very pleased to to show that to you as well in the front garden there are also the pumpkins and the squashes the winter squashes are just trailing through and making um, the garden area in the front look really really beautiful uh, I found that they need Sun and it's been such a blessing to be able to get Sun in my front yard and in those front gardens the both side gardens because now I'm able to grow uh, a whole lot more and um, so come let us enjoy the garden together
you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Yes, come on and be a part of Catherine's Garden and Home. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed when more videos are coming up. And they have been coming up regularly. I still have a lot more to share with you. So make sure you hit the notification bell. So thank you so much as we grow, 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 grow together. Catherine's garden and home. Come on, grow, 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 grow together. Catherine's garden and home. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for giving me your time. And have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for being a part of Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow. See you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home. Bye. Where we grow, 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 grow together. <laughs>